Hello, in this video we are going to continue our MySQL exercises and uh, let's start chapter accessing data from multiple tables. The first uh, topic is join. While we start, let's understand of structure how to conduct join queries. First element is a select uh, value of expression what we want to express what we want to have an as an output second uh, is table name first tape after is a in a join or just a join its syntax is a table name and after the on which is the search condition some mutual condition for first table and uh, another table for example let's see this two table food and the company and they have the same company id and if make the joint selection and uh, require to company id to make uh, conduct the join we will uh, result uh, value expression okay let's start exercises uh, let's observe two uh, table first is order and another let's take the customer okay and let's uh, write some requirements for these two tape make the control shift enter and uh, let's look around what's happened uh, look one line it's related all the line of customer ID it's the big table first uh, is orders table orders section and another is the customer section if we change the positions one side is the customers tape and another is orders tape okay let's continue what we wrote here join column should be customer id it looks like this kind of this kind of shape we have the customer id same customer id and arrange this two table by uh, customer id logic let's uh, upgrade our code and add uh, some variables how to optimize our code let's increase our scope after the selection it requires some uh, columns which is the interested for example if i push the control shift enter i receive the error message he has written the customer id we have the both and code no result in this case when we have one uh, same column should add requirement which tables customer id we want in this case let's choose the c and uh, bullet point here uh, i said by this written i want a customer uh, customers table uh, column which is a customer id okay let's make some ex additional exercise on about the join let's observe the order items here's the this kind of tape and we interested the product id also let's uh, look at the product table we have also the product id same when we wrote this code uh, we set the variables o i and p for example if i missed and write here products it error i should set and use at the next no, every next stage as a variable yes i expressed and let's add the object tables let's look unit price we have the both tables as a product table as order item also this should be more precisely right yes we passed first task and let's start the join data from multiple databases when you are going to join to table from multiple databases it's a bit tricky let's observe two table products 
and order items for each one has the product id and also the is the product id if i wrote the simple it makes me error what i should do for this task i should write more precisely for uh, which databases should be used so we need use function i use function and for another table i make precisely written another database name and if i hit the Control shift enter yes i have cross join okay let's add another requirements and make output file in this output file we conduct uh, and represent product id product id uh, one products table and uh, this table is the order items we use the, also the variable names and uh, very easily has this task and the task is self join uh, for a self join uh, task uh, we should look the sql hr database so look this table each employee which has which has its id reports to another manager all employees is related to one person okay let's represent this kind of output uh, table which join each employees to whose manager is uh, reported Yes, we represent this kind of table with the each uh, manager which has responsibility to reports and for who reports to is uh, Yowanda. Okay, we pass this task. Uh, in this section, main topic is we use same table by another variables and uh, create output table. We pass this task and let's next task is data from multiple tables in this section we will going to use use function uh, let's write a code and see okay we represent from three table orders table this table and then there's the customer table which they related to each other customers id yes this one and this one and the third table is a order statuses this uh, which they related to order status id to to uh, the orders statuses this one and this one is same uh, another task is to make tailored customized the columns which uh, we want to see okay let's write main idea is uh, the column should be attributed its relevant variables which is its uh, origin okay let's continue and write another task for more exercises okay we wrote this code and represented uh, this uh, a bit a huge tape and uh, let's add some needed columns which is the our target we pass this table which is the finished here and next start another table which is the clients table yes we represented changing uh, names of column also i from three tables assemble one target table we pass the this task 
and uh, let's start writing a compound join statement. While we start the compound join statement task, let's understand order items table. Here's the two order ID and product ID. Here's some duplicates also in product ID column. Let's look in the developer section on the edit window. Here's a written order ID and product ID, which is a primary key. So when you are joining some tables, first of all, should understand which columns has a primary key for joining and handle the target lines, also the target table. In this case, we join by by two by two conditions okay let's write okay first is related this section is a order item yes this four column and another we choose order item nodes which is the from SQL story uh, he is a also order ID and product ID joined same order ID and product ID so we pass a compound join by composite primary key this two column which access as to handle unique line called the uh, composite primary keys okay let's start another task this is the syntax from implicit join in MySQLs, there's a possible to get some objects by another ways. We are using now join function and let's use some substitute clause of join. We represented same table by a where function, which is the substitute of uh, join in this case. Okay, let's write a bit a complicated selection and let's see how is useful via function. We explained that we are is the a bit a substitute of some join requirements. We pass implic uh, implicit join and let's start the outer join task. While we start the outer join, let me introduce the visualization of joint structures. We explained the inner join, which is this intersection. And now we are going to explain the left joins and right joins. For visualization, it looks like, imagine, there's the one circle is uh, related to one table. Okay, uh, here's the right outer join and the left outer join. Let me write code and see how is it work. Okay, this two table, this section is related to order ID, another is the customer's table. So we arrange the customer's ID, which is the equal to each other. And let me show the orders table has a primary key, just the order ID for customers as primary key the customer ID. Why is this so important? Because when I add, for example, left join, actually we recure first table should be represented fully. So it means the left side, which is the order, should be represented completely. Okay, let's see. Yes, order ID, which is related to is the order table. So let's add the target columns. Yes, we represented the order ID, which is the unique, is represented here. And if I, for example, the delay this one, I represented just the, this uh, orders, which is the customers. Or if I write, I represented the customers primary key, which is the customer ID, is represented here. Uh, we explained the auto join, and uh, let me introduce 
how to join to combine multiple tables. Okay, let's make another exercise this is on about the left joints. Here's the orders, customers and shippers. At first, if I write the, this kind of simple selection, it means I filtered the interfere of to this table. Orders table, which is the this customer ID, is equal this customer ID. If I add the left join here, it means I choose the customers tables, all customer ID, which is represented in customers table because customer ID in customers table is primary key. I represented this. Let's add another table, the shippers. Shippers has its shipper ID, which is the primary key, and should relate it to shippers ID here, which is the uh, orders table and if I make execute it means filtered the interfere which is a shippers ID shippers ID equals to order ID order ID equals to customer ID customer ID to equals uh, customers tables customer ID okay let's add uh, at both side left requirements it means I choose all customers which is represented here. For another left means I will represent from orders table whoever the order ID has all other order ID should be represented and after this add shippers ID if exists. Okay let's execute. Yes we represent it all customers is represented all order ID represented also and after shippers ID. Okay we understood and pass the combine from multiple tables and let's uh, start the using clause using a clause is a substitute of on function for example two columns has same names in two another tables we can use the using clause for example customer id in customers table and the customer id in orders table there's the exactly same names of columns and let's see how is it works And we can uh, replace this line. Yes, we get the same result by using clause. And uh, let's add uh, some exercises in, in our query. Yes, so we use double using clause and let's add the left clause of this join. It means we choose this customers who has all kind of orders. Okay, let's add another query. For example, we have the product ID and also order ID, which is the same in this section, product ID and order ID. And we represented the double using syntax on about order ID and product ID. We pass this task using Klaus and let's start a natural join. Natural join isn't a popular way to make uh, some selections or get some objects. For example, uh, let's write some code. So, by this query, when you wrote, it means you are going to allow MySQL engine uh, determine the similar columns, for example, here is a customer ID, to between two tables. It gives no control of join condition. But if there does not exist any similar columns, for example, shippers and uh, customers uh, have no similar columns, it writes this kind of some mixes each other so it's not a popular uh, and the another is the cross join and we will solve task in natural join section when mysql logic is searching same name the columns and making joins in cross join columns it does not work so it means the customers table which is the 10 line is the just the matched products which is the 
an line and they represented a hundred line which is the related of each of um, another table's line a bit uh, dummy natural join and the cross join but they just exist okay we pass a task and let's start the union the union operator is used to combine a result set of two or more select statement every select statement must also have similar data type same number of columns and the column in every select statement must also be in the same order okay uh, let me show you in practice uh, how is it work let's take the customers table and make this kind of requirement if points is more than 3000 write uh, one column which the written the gold if between 2000 and 3000 write the silver and if below of 2000 write the uh, bronze okay let's write We represented from one table that was a customer table this kind of requirements customer id first name points and type which is the added and estimated by points check in how is it uh, work this operator from another tables we combined the customer's first name here first name and shipper's name it's combined in one column and first is written the customer's names and after the shipper's name okay uh, we finished our exercises on about the join section uh, i hope it was good for you and thanks for watching